Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I would like to introduce you to SCL language in TI Portal. Why this language? Sometimes it's hard writing PLC code in ladder logic or functional block diagrams, especially if you are to do some math works or do math operations. In this case, you can easily use SCL or structured test to achieve this goal. In short, SCL is to write special functions within your PLC program and it's not recommended writing the entire PLC program in LCL. In this video, we will program our popular direct online logic using SCL for you to have a feel of this lovely language. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we have our TI portal project already opened and this is a project from our previous tutorial. Okay, so by default, one lovely thing about TI portal, SCI is already installed, unlike the step seven manager where you need to install it separately. Okay, so to write the LCL language, you can insert a network that you will activate the LCL language or you can create FBs and then FCs that you can change the language to LCL. So first let's do by inserting a network and then activating LCL. To do this, I go to network six and then click right click on it and then move to insert LCL. Okay, so we have it right here. Let me delete this section. And then I can add a comment that this is our first my SCL test. Okay, great. So now we need to replicate this direct online logic using the SCL language. To do this, this, we need some if statement. I click on this and this is the structure of the if. So if condition, then we do something and then we end if. Okay. So what is the condition to start the output? Is when the start move from logic zero to one. So we can say that when start, then we do something or we say when start equal to true, then we do something. Okay, so what we do is say tag seven, which is our output, and then we assigned logic one to it. So this is the assignment operator equal to or a semicolon equal to sorry colon equal to and then true. Great. So we've now assigned the output to true. And now we need a condition to turn this output off. So we see that else if our stop button also moves from zero to one. So equal to true. Then we will do something. Then what do we do? We turn our tag seven and then we say colon equal to false. Okay, great. We now terminate it by semicolon. Okay, we left it then out in our else if statement. So we place it there. Okay, great. Now let me delete this section. And this is all what we need to do. I click on compile to see that if there are no errors, we can see zero errors and then zero warnings. I click on download. My simulator is already opened. Okay, I minimize it and click on load. Great. Our logic is loaded. I go online. And now we can see the status of our code. The results is false because we've not pressed the start. The result for the stop is also false because we've not pressed the stop as well. Okay, output is also false. Great. Now let me add the watch table. Double click on it. And now insert the start tag, stop tag, and then the output tag, which is tag 7. Great. Let's modify it. So I put 1. And now go online and then click on the modify button. 
okay we can see the outputs on working great okay we see the results and then the stop has not been pressed we can see the output is on okay great remember let me position them correctly side by side so that we can observe them together okay and now change the stop sorry start back to false which is zero modify and then we can see that the output still remains true because it remembers the last state or the else if statement has not been executed so now we click the stop on and then we can see that the output goes off because we've executed the else if statement and then the tag has been assigned the false value okay great now what if we want to make the stop button always on on field that is normally closed so i go offline and i need to modify the code so instead of testing for true we test for a false for the stop push button okay great and this is all what we need to do i compile and see if there are errors there are no errors i download okay great i click on the load and it's done perfectly now let's go back online so i go online on the watch table and then the stop push button is already true i go online okay great on the code as well and then we can see that the stop is true the start is at fourth state so now i set the start to true and then click on the modify and then we can see that the output comes on now i turn the start back to false remember it's momentary so when you release it has to go back to false modify and then we can see that the output still remains on and when i want to turn it off i need to turn the stop push button to a false state by pressing it okay and then we can see that the output is off it's working perfectly so this is one way to add the statement list to any network within your code or you can create a function if you need a special function for it so to do this you go to the program and then add a block okay now we want to create an fc so we select fc and change the language you can see the fc is part of the languages and now give it any name that suits your function so if it's forward reverse you can say forward reverse test say okay and basically you have this lovely interface where you can write all your fco code thank you this is a quick introduction to xcl in the next we will look at the if statement else statement we will look at the loops and then also do some complex calculation using this language thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye